This is another episode of the Paris Jones Show. I'm your host, Paris Jones. Let's get into it. Today's episode, God's chosen people will face a lot of rejection. And this is something that you're going to deal with as a chosen one. So much so that you'll get to the point where you do get used to it, you know, even though it'll still sting, but you'll get used to it. It'll hurt for a little bit, but you'll be like, okay, you're going to bounce right back because you become numb to it in a sense. You'll face rejection in school. You become outcasted, seen as the weird kid. You'll face rejection by family. And yeah, they'll still love you most times by obligation, but that doesn't mean they'll like you. They don't, that doesn't mean they'll like your personality or who you are, your lifestyle, what you're trying to do. Um, you'll have friends who will reject you. They'll reject what you stand for. They'll reject you once you've accepted who you are as a chosen one, once you start to follow Christ. Um, they'll also choose other people over you. This is another form of rejection. They'll choose other friends over you. You might be that friend that just talk to whenever they're down and they need somebody to talk to. You might be that friend that they don't choose to go out with, but you know, you're just around just in case they need to pick me up, you know, and, and they need the ego boost. You're going to get rejected by people you love a lot of times. Um, you may be getting rejected because you don't have a certain social status. You may not have the, the proper amount of money. You'll get rejected because of that. And, and sometimes you'll get rejected, of course, because familiarity breeds disrespect, right? People around you so much, they'll get to the point where they just don't respect you anymore. And that's another form of rejection. Um, you may face rejection at the job. Face rejection when you apply for jobs. We've all been there. I know when I first got out of school, um, you know, I, I got rejected probably dozens and dozens of times before I actually got a job. Even when you are in the process of looking for a new job, you're going to get rejected many times as a chosen one. Um, even during in-person interviews, you might have thought you did well, but there's something about you they don't like. They're going to reject you when you are a chosen one. And then when you get the job, people will reject you on the job. You'll have managers who don't like you. You'll have coworkers who don't like you. They'll reject you. They'll reject you for promotions that you deserve, that you are well qualified for. They'll reject you over people who aren't even half as qualified for you just because they don't like who you are. And that a lot of times comes from being God's chosen people. A lot of men are going to reject you because of that, because a lot of men do not like God. A lot of men hate God. So this is the reason why they're going to reject you. You're going to be rejected by different groups and organizations you want to be a part of. It's something that happens and it's something that you have to be ready for and aware that it's going to happen. You get rejected um, trying to pursue romantic interests, trying to get romantic partners. As guys, you know, we get turned down all, all the time, especially when you're younger, you're at the club, you're trying to get the ladies. You're going to get rejected multiple times some nights when you're out. And it's something that you've um, you know, just get used to over time. Sometimes we face rejection in a relationship with a partner. They will cheat on you. They'll reject you for another person they saw. They'll choose something else over you. They will reject you, who you are at your core, your values. They, you've learned that they don't actually like you. They just have you around for a specific reason. Maybe you're the best that they can do right now, but once they find someone they deem better than you, then they'll take off and reject you. And rejection, no matter who you are, can hurt like hell. It just is. Yeah, you're used to it, but still it stings at the moment. It doesn't hurt you as long as it did before, but it still hurts. And it's something that, you know, you have to know that is going to happen. And sometimes the fear of rejection, and I guess this is the point where I'm trying to get at, don't let the fear of rejection hold you back from pursuing things that you need to pursue in life. That fear of rejection can hold us back in life. And so I just want to encourage you today to kind of shift and change your perspective when it comes to rejection. I say embrace rejection. And this is advice for myself as well. Embrace rejection because oftentimes that leads to another path that you never thought you would be on, but it's going to be better than what you thought. So for instance, that romantic person, that romantic interest that rejects you, that person was going to lead you down a destructive path, but the but it's going to lead you to a path where you meet the right person for you. That job rejection you got was going to, that job you got rejected by was actually the best thing for you. You didn't know a couple of days later you're going to get a job offer from another job that was better suited to who you are and aligns with your values. You have to know sometimes that rejection is God's protection. I know it's cliche, but it's a real thing sometimes. If you look back in your life, think about the things that you've been rejected by or who you've been rejected by. And then you look back and you say, huh, that was a great thing that happened. It was great that I got rejected from this person or this place 
because it led me to something else that was a lot better. You have to understand that you will face a lot of rejection just by being God's child because think about how many people reject God every day. It's probably billions and over time, it's probably trillions throughout the years of people who have rejected God. Even some people who claim to be children of God or know him will reject him for different things. And this is something that we have to understand that happens if we're a child of God, we're, no, we're, we're going to face some of the things that he dealt with um, when he was here on earth. He got rejected by people. His message got rejected. So why do you think that you will not be rejected by people when the Almighty was, when Jesus was? That was something they dealt with, continue to deal with today. So we're going to deal with rejection as well. And we have to be strong to deal with that rejection. Sometimes we're getting rejected all this time because it's building up our strength. It's building up our endurance to be able to handle what comes after all that rejection, that, that place you want to be at, it's going to have to be, you're going to have to be at a level where that rejection doesn't really phase you. Or when people talk down at you, it's not going to phase you because you've already been through all that rejection before. You're going to have this unwavering strength and faith that things are going to be okay. And it's because you've already built up that endurance being rejected all those times. So expect rejection because you are like God on earth. You carry God's spirit if you're a chosen one. Expect betrayal. Expect people to deny you. Expect people to deny your reality. They do the same thing to the Almighty Father. Because we are God's chosen ones, we are going to have to endure some of the same things that he did. It's just part of the process.